Hello guys, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. It wasn't the most uh, active trading week ever, but uh, it was still uh, okay week, a profitable one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look and see what we have for the upcoming week. So uh, as usual, when I wrote the intro disclaimer, you will have the time to hit that like button for me and show your support. And of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel, do so. See you there. And welcome back guys we will start with the euro on the weekly time frame as you see last week and ended up as a indecision candle uh, there was not major movement on the euro we um, traded in the narrow range so what i was looking for is of course if we're gonna break and close below uh, this range here for a possible continuation toward these lows and toward the monthly s1 I still think that the euro may continue lower. The question is now when uh, we reach this support level, if we're going to break below this last line of defense or not. So um, really what I want to see happening here is um, a close below these lows down here for uh, more downside. There is a possibility for a market objective to really test these lows and the question is are we gonna break below to see uh, that continuation toward monthly s1 down here and these lows and uh, if that the case then of course i will try to uh, continue shorting this market uh, the uh, other scenario of course is uh, that we may see a retest of that 1.13 which is also another key level uh, 1.13 uh, we do have the 200 moving average on the four hour as well and this uh, trend line and we know that this level acted as a uh, good uh, support and resistance area looking left so uh, these are the levels i'm looking for if we get uh, there is a possibility that we um, we have this range right now uh, i'm thinking of one possibility here that uh, the market uh, may break up uh, above this uh, range, trap some buyers, push all the way toward 113 to then uh, sell once again. That is also a possible uh, scenario, guys. So uh, keep playing that uh, range here until we have the breakouts as explained, especially if we get this uh, break below the last line of defense here, that would be <coughs> the best case scenario. Uh, Sterling USD also uh, testing uh, this key support level um, last uh, five six weeks we've been going sideways in a very hard traded market and that was expected because I've kept telling you guys keep an eye on those Brexit headlines. Uh, <clears throat> there is uh, most of the moves happening only based on those headlines so sideways and choppy on the daily we see that we looks like pressured now we have this lower high another lower high and another lower high while we still uh, see the key support not broken which is 1.30 still not broken we want to see this level broken for more downside at that same level we do have the 200 moving average on the daily so for this market to keep pushing lower you want to see the break below uh, this uh, area on the daily time frame to then look for a retest on lower time frame and another bounce lower if that is the case there is a big possibility that we reach all the way down here toward this key level coming from a very long uh, back in the chart if you see here we had the brexit day the next uh, push lower which, which did stop at this level and since then it was acting resistance and support all the way so if the break happened here <coughs> then there is uh, a very big chance that this market uh, targets this level as an objective um, that is the case for the downside but still we are above the 1.30 which is the key support so what i want you to look for next week is of course if we test this level once again and give you some kind of bullish evidence especially if you get some 
fake down and another strong push back up above it that could mean a possible uh, bounce higher once again and since this market is being choppy so that could be the case for next week again that we keep playing uh, this uh, lower range here so <clears throat> keep seeing this as possible support until you have a break below it <clears throat> USD Jappy, nothing new, new here. I've been saying that we are bullish and we will keep being bullish until we, lead, we reach at least uh, the 112 and the monthly R1. As you see on the weekly, we are heading toward that level. The 200 uh, moving average on the weekly coming here from above, start it start pointing to the downside now, as you see. So um, nothing new here. If you're holding a long, keep holding that long uh, until we reach uh, this level here around the monthly R1 and previous highs. That gonna be a, a key resistance level. Of course, if that got broken on the daily time frame, that will open the door for the next move toward uh, monthly or two and uh, uh, to start testing uh, these highs up here. As for now, uh, keep an eye on this 112 uh, take profit at that level uh, key support still is the 111 down here if that retest happens before we reach uh, the the highs here that gonna be a very good level to buy at but before that of course we do have some troubles on the way so I will start uh, actually looking to buy already at this uh, structure here so this structure here could be the first level of trouble to look for a possible buy at if broken then of course the 111 gonna be the better and um, the stronger uh, support uh, on this chart um, usd chief nice push last week uh, from the retest of this low here um, we uh, used that as support and last week we had a very nice push uh, breaking above the highs of the previous weeks and closing near the highs now uh, we are trading at around a key level uh, anyway so um, keep an eye on this because we had this very strong push to the downside we said we may have a retest and continuation yeah uh, that didn't happen so far still no signal of uh, selling pressure but last friday was not the strongest candle ever so we ended up with this um, uh, doji star here and uh, i want to see more um, uh, price acceptance at this level to say that we may keep pushing higher yeah so on the four hour time frame what we have is uh, we are trading at the uh, 200 moving average we do not have a very strong um, push here uh, since we reach at this level we start having um, a very small body scandal and uh, that could signal that we may uh, losing momentum and we may push lower in any case what I'm watching for next week is uh, this scenario to happen. As far as we are above monthly pivot point and um, keep trading around this area here. So what I want to see is um, if we're going to get some acceptance here that the, the market spent some time above monthly pivot point and then a break above this range. If that is the case, then that will open the door for much more upside if this scenario happen or if we uh, break below uh, the monthly pivot point then there is a possibility that we start moving lower to test these lows down here or maybe all the way down to the bottom of this move here so these are the two scenarios for more upside i want to see some kind of consolidation and then a breakout that will signal a move to the upside otherwise a break below here could signal a move to the downside so look for that scenario uh, for the USD CAD, we're still looking um, like we're going sideways for five weeks or so. After the break above the neckline, we tested this neckline uh, three times now. It could not break below. We're still trading above that neckline, as you see. And on the daily, we do have a clear uh, range here. So the bottom of this range, this area here, 
uh, is key support still and it should be a uh, buy level until it is broken as for now still holding as support and we should keep buying it and maybe selling the highs here until we have a uh, break out of uh, that range so um, on lower time frame the four hour for example you see that we had this double bottom happening at this key support level this is gonna still be the key support we had this double bottom we had the continuation on friday we had a breakout we were looking in the room for the retest in continuation and uh, this is still uh, this is still the case the longer term we spend above this neckline the more chance there is for that continuation so i'm still having the same plan keep an eye on this level as a possible first support level uh, to try to find a buy uh, signal to the upside aussie usd still inside this uh, upper range um, as you see on the daily we are going sideways so there is no re reason to think of something else than short-term trades on this market until we break out of those ranges so even on the four hour you see that we are ranging but the, the range is getting narrower and narrower so uh, key levels on this uh, chart is of course this key resistance for more upside we need to break above it to then start thinking of test of these highs and maybe higher uh, but as for now it is still acting as a strong resistance and the price is testing this key support level right now and um, the same here for more downside i want to see a break below this uh, support to then look for a continuation and maybe retest of these lows down here on this market first trouble is up here then to test these lows down here um, very simple chart you have the range all you need to do is look for that break uh, out and new zealand usd we do have um, uh, the market testing uh, monthly s1 200 moving average on the daily previous support line here i still think this market objective is probably to test uh, this area down here uh, that is a possible uh, case here to test this uh, support level um, but still no break below this low when that break happened then that will open the door for more downside and um, i'm anticipating that we may complete this a b c d the cd completion um, gonna be at uh, 1.618 and uh, this previous uh, structure support and resistance down here if that is the case and we break below this low there is a possibility that we complete this pattern down here now let's not forget that this market uh, at this level pushed very strongly to the upside and this is the first time we really test this low here so see this as a uh, still as a possible support uh, that may give you <coughs> a bounce at least a short-term bounce may happen also from this key support level but of course if the market open and keep pushing lower and breaks below this then the ABCD uh, completion may happen at that 1618 to then give you another bounce uh, to the upside at least a short-term bounce to the upside um, New Zealand CAD, uh, one of my favorite charts, uh, <clears throat> now testing the yearly pivot point once again and still looking heavy. I think this market objective is to test this key support level that we've been trading for uh, some time now uh, around the monthly S1. So um, I'm um, anticipating this continuation last week in my trading room, I said we uh, sell this retest and we've got a nice bounce lower from that level but still there is no break of the yearly pivot point and there is no break of this uh, previous low here so uh, the low here uh, need to be broken for more downside uh, so we need to see this broken to then look for retest and completion of the move around the monthly s1 which is the key support down here as you see this level gonna surely be defended and if the beers f uh, 
um, lose this fight then that will open the door for much more downside it is an empty area as you see there is nothing on the way until we reach that uh, level okay so uh, this is gonna um, open the way for much more downside but uh, the beer is gonna surely try to defend it so look for at least a short-term bounce from this level if reached and if uh, tested so um, yeah those are the charts for the youtube version as you see this uh, watch list here i will do this whole list for my uh, trading room the premium room of course and um, for those of you who are interesting uh, to get those um, updates each and every day i do a morning briefing about uh, all these uh, charts here all these markets all you need to do is go to my site uh, the link is down here uh, in the bottom of your screen and um, join our uh, trading room we still have uh, 14 days trial for only one dollar uh, you could cancel whenever you want so uh, in that way you can join the room see how we work if you like it then it will automatically um, uh, keep uh, up, uh, updated and uh, if you do not lay, like it all you need to do is just cancel it and uh, no question ask it at all so uh, that is uh, the best way to keep being updated each and every day during london and new york session and uh, yeah that is for uh, this week guys see you next week bye bye